Did you know that the amount of iron in our body is enough to make a nail? Not that our body is going to make a nail, but why do we have iron in our body in the first place? And where does iron come from? In this video, we are going to explore mineral salts, tiny building blocks found in rock and soil that are essential for body to function properly and answer some of these questions as well. For example, the table salt we get mainly from the sea is a type of mineral salt. But minerals aren't just found in salt, we also get them from plants and animals. So what exactly are mineral salts and why do we need them? Let's find out. Let's start with calcium salts. You know that calcium helps build and maintain strong teeth and bones. But what does maintain actually mean? See our bones aren't static. They are constantly changing, breaking down and rebuilding. Calcium helps to keep them dense and strong throughout our lives. But does this mean we just need to keep eating calcium rich food? Not exactly. Here is where vitamin D comes in. Think of vitamin D as calcium's teammate. It helps your body absorb calcium making sure all the calcium that you consume actually gets used without vitamin d eating all the calcium in the world wouldn't be enough so they really work together as a team we get calcium from food sources like milk fish and meat now let's talk about iron or ferrous salt ferrous is a term that describes something that contains iron Iron is another essential mineral. Iron isn't making nails in our body. Instead, it is crucial for the formation of blood. And specifically, blood is responsible for carrying oxygen throughout our body. That makes iron very important component in our diet. Now, where do we get iron from? We get iron from beans, chickpeas, nuts and meat. Finally, let's discuss iodized salt and its connection to thyroid. What is thyroid? Thyroid is what we call the hormone headquarters of our body. Now what are hormones? Hormones are special chemicals that play a major role in growth, converting food to energy and mood regulation. So why are we discussing thyroid hormones and these special chemicals? I am discussing this to emphasize the importance of iodized salt. So how does iodized salt help? Iodized salt provides the body, pro provides the body with the iodine which is essential for the thyroid to function properly. Without enough iodine, our thyroid cannot function properly and hence cannot produce enough hormones or special chemicals that are required for growth, converting food to energy and mood regulation. So iodine is indirectly responsible for all these functions. The main source of iodized salt are table salt and marine fish. Oh and one more thing, remember the chemical name of table salt and it is sodium chloride. You will come across that in higher classes in detail. Alright, to sum it up, today we covered three mineral salts in this video. Starting with calcium which helps build and maintain bone and teeth. We also saw that vitamin D plays a crucial role in absorbing this calcium. Next we saw ferrous or iron salt which helps in the formation of blood which is important for carrying oxygen throughout our body. And what are the major sources of iron salt or iron mineral? Beans, chickpeas, nut and meat. And lastly, iodized salt which helps in the functioning of thyroid that makes special chemicals called hormones. And what are the sources of iodized salt? Table salt and marine fish are the major sources of iodized salt.